Iran plans to commission three more versions of a satellite launched this week by Russia, Tehran's government spokesman said Friday. The KM blasted into orbit on Tuesday, prompting U.S. accusations that it is intended for spying. Iran dismissed Washington's claim as childish. The construction of three other KM satellites with the participation of Iranian scientists is on the government's agenda, its spokesman Ali Bahadori Jeromi said on Twitter. A Soyuz 2.1B rocket sent the satellite into orbit from the Moscow-controlled Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. Responding to the launch, Washington said Russia's growing cooperation with Iran should be viewed as a profound threat, but the head of Iran's space agency, Hassan Salaria, dismissed the accusation. He said the Qayyum is designed to meet Iran's needs for crisis and urban management, natural resources, mines, agriculture, and so on. The Qayyum was built by the Russians under Iran's supervision, Salaria said at a press conference on Wednesday. Ahead of the launch, the Washington Post quoted anonymous Western intelligence officials as saying that Russia plans to use the satellite for several months or longer to assist its war effort before allowing Iran to take control. Iran's space agency stressed on Sunday that it would control the satellite from day one in an apparent reaction to the Post's report. Kayim, apparently named after the 11th century Persian polymath Omar Kayim will not be the first Iranian satellite that Russia has put into space. In 2005, Iran's Sina-1 satellite was deployed from Russia's Plesetsk Cosmodrome. The new satellite launch came a day after the European Union submitted a final text of talks to salvage a 2015 deal aimed at training in Iran's nuclear ambitions and which Tehran said it was reviewing. The United States has accused Iran of effectively supporting Russia's war against Ukraine while adopting a veil of neutrality. Iran insists its space program is for civilian and defense purposes only and does not breach the 2015 nuclear deal or any other international agreement. Western governments worry that satellite launch systems incorporate technologies interchangeable with those used in ballistic missiles capable of delivering a nuclear warhead, something Iran has always denied wanting to build. The successful launch of the Qayyum satellite has been hailed as an important milestone in Russian-Iranian bilateral cooperation that paves the way for implementing new joint projects. This has ushered in what Iran has described as a strategic aerospace cooperation between Tehran and Moscow. Russia now says it is open to cooperation in the field of space exploration, with all interested countries and partners, specifically Iran. The launch is also seen as a major achievement for Iran, despite being burdened by severe Western sanctions. OK, so it's very important, the cooperation between Iran and Russia in satellite technology is very important because it shows a cooperation between large states with great capacity, which are both under economic blockade by Washington in particular, I would say Washington, rather than the West, because really there are some mixed feelings in some parts of other Western countries, but certainly, Washington is very jealous of any sort of independent achievement by Iran or Russia. Earlier this year, Iran's Islamic Revolution Guards Corps, IRGC, Aerospace Force, launched a second homegrown satellite into a low-Earth orbit, nearly two years after the launch of its first military satellite. The IRGC successfully put Nur-2 or Light-2 into orbit on March 8, 2022. Iran has already mastered the technology to build remote sensing satellites with an image resolution of 5 to 10 meters and can inject up to 50 kilogram packages into an orbit of 500 kilometers. But Qayyum has a much more precise resolution of 1 meter. Iran aims to achieve the technology to put a 100 kilogram satellite into the 500 kilometer orbit by next year. The U.S. has occasionally referred to the resolution to condemn Iran's defensive missile program and its satellite launches. Iran contends that it has never negotiated over its missile program and that nothing in Resolution 2231 prohibits the country from its defensive missile activities, citing the non-mandatory terminology used in it. Also, Tehran reassured the world by signing the JCPOA, 
that it does not seek nuclear weapons, citing repeated reports by the International Atomic Energy Agency IAEA, that certified Iran's full compliance with the 2015 deal. Despite Iran's strict compliance with the JCPOA, the US withdrew from the pact and reinstated harsh economic sanctions against Iran that the deal had lifted.